Seeing we're reading for the Chronological Bible, the story of the birth of our great Savior, I thought it would be appropriate to sing this. It's never inappropriate to sing a Christmas song, no matter what time of year. The morning after the winter, or I'm sorry, the morning after the writer of this beautiful carol was called home, the mother of a little girl of five who had been one of his special favorites entered the room where the child was playing. Holding the little face between her hands, she said tearfully, Bishop Brooks has gone to heaven. Oh, Mama, was the reply, how happy the angels will be. This little true story paints but a part of the story of Philip Brooks, preacher extraordinaire, lover of children, gifted orator, poet, and above all, a believer with all his soul, in the divine Son of God whom he preached and for whom he lived. The idea for this song had been simmering in, his, in the heart of Philip Brooks since 1865, when on a trip abroad he was able to spend Christmas in Bethlehem. This, for his day, was unusual, and was an experience he would never forget. On Sunday, December 24th, he rode on horseback from Jerusalem to Bethlehem, and as twilight was falling, he went out to the field, where, tradition says, the shepherds saw the glory of the Lord. As he looked toward the little town of Bethlehem, with the moon acting as the illuminator, and the stars shining in the sky, he witnessed a scene much the same as the shepherds had witnessed almost two thousand years before, except for the absence of the great light. And the shepherds, nothing had changed very much. Instead of a candle to light their way, some who were traveling through the quiet streets were using lamps. There also were no angels present, yet the aura of the occasion lent a holy hush to the surroundings. Speaking of this experience in a letter to his Sunday school in Philadelphia, Phillips Brooks wrote, Again and again it seemed I could hear the voices telling each other of the wonderful night of the Savior's birth. All this while the words of a new carol were singing in his heart, but it would not be until he came home to America that he would write them down. This would not happen until just a short while before Christmas of 1868. He was preparing the Christmas service for the Sunday school, and as he began to review the music he would use, there flooded through his soul a re-echo of the Christmas Eve he had spent in the shepherd's fields overlooking Bethlehem, and the carol that had been singing in his heart uh, since that time. He could not contain it any longer, but uh, as it burst forth, he began to write, O little town of Bethlehem, how still! We see thee lie. Above thy deep and dreamless sleep, the silent stars go by. On and on it flowed until, as a river reaches the sea, so his inspired words, too, reached the zenith of what Christmas is all about, as he exclaimed, O oh, come to us, abide with us, O Lord Emmanuel. Phillips Brooks then hurriedly left his study and walked to the home of Mr. Lewis Redner, who was the organist of the church. Upon showing him his poem, Mr. Redner consented to try his hand at writing an appropriate melody. His first efforts proved successful. And today, in all of hymnology, there can be found no tune which so greatly enhances a set of words as does this one. There were many very happy children that Christmas in the Sunday school of the Church of the Holy Trinity in Philadelphia as they sang for the first time the carol that their own pastor had written for them. In the years to come, it would be an important part of each of their Christmases and their celebrations, but it would take more than 20 years before it would receive general recognition and be sung around the world. Alfred B. Smith O little town of Bethlehem, how still we 
see thee lie above thy deep and dreamless sleep the silent stars go by yet in thy dark streets shineth the everlasting light the hopes and fears of all the years are met in thee tonight for christ is born of mary and gathered all above while mortals sleep the angels keep their watch of wandering love O morning stars together proclaim the holy birth and praises sing to God the King and peace to man on earth. How silently, how silently the wondrous gift is given, so God imparts to human hearts the blessings of his heaven. No ear may hear his coming, but in this world of sin, where meek souls will receive him still, the dear Christ enters in. O holy child of Bethlehem, descend to us, we pray. Cast out our sin and enter in, be born in us today. We hear the Christmas angels, the great glad tidings tell. Ho oh, come to us, abide with us, our Lord, Amen.